it's Vi. I'm here to talk to you today about ways you can save some money while you're traveling. I don't have a lot of ways, but I have a few that I like to share. Ones that worked for me so far. Uh, the first thing I'll talk about is food. I've already mentioned it before in my last, well, previous video about um, you know saving money on eating street food and stuff like that, but that's not always the healthiest alternative so if you want something healthy and very uh, cheap is you can do what I do is I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and you can buy a ton of fruit for a very low price um, depends on where you buy it now if you buy fruit downtown they're gonna charge you like a lot of money for it and if you talk to locals you discover that there are other places that sell them like bigger markets and it's like a wholesale and you buy you know a lot and for very 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 low prices sometimes half the price of what you would pay elsewhere the other thing I do is um, oh if you like to exercise like myself it, um, you have gyms you can go to obviously but you want to be careful in terms of you want to shop around first because there are plenty of gyms where I am but some of them, most of them, cost so much. Um, you know, I mean, a lot. <laughs> Way more than I would even pay back in the States. We're talking over $100 a month, and that's crazy expensive. Um, but there are other gyms that you can find out about, you know, locally. They're not as fancy as the expensive ones, but they have equipment that works. And it's not going to be brand new, but it does work. And that's all you need is a machine that works, you know. Um, so I found one here downtown and it's Lucky Moria, which I will put in the video how much that is because I still am struggling with money conversions. Um, but also, if you have student discount or ID, you get a discount, which is one of the things I mentioned in my blog before is if you have a student ID, whether you're a student or not, but um, in this case, if you're not a student any anymore, but it's still valid, why not use it until it's no longer valid? I mean, it serves you well because for this gym membership, with my ID, I save 40% on the gym. So that's really good. <laughs> and it comes with a personal trainer, so you can't beat that price. Well, I didn't tell you the price. It's like 60000 with the discount. Um, I'll also put how much that is. But I'm, I think I'm getting pretty good at this. I think it's like $40, which is also still pricey. So if that's out of your price range and a gym is not necessary, you can work out like I did uh, outside. I went to the beach, I went running on the sand and worked out my legs, my glutes. Uh, you can do push-ups, there's so many things you can do. I always travel with, uh, what do you call those things? Um, resistant bands. <laughs> I have Insanity on my computer. You can have workout DVDs. There's ways around it so you can save money. Uh, oh yes, about talking to locals. Get to know the locals because you'll find out that you can pay a lot less for things. You just have to know where to go. For example, like if you like to get your hair done, <laughs> if this is for you, um, going to a salon can be really expensive depending on what you're doing, depending on where the salon is and their specialties. So, you know, talking to a local, I was talking to this lady one day and she just mentioned that she knows of so many people, one in particular, who, who charges very low for getting things like braids done and, and such. And when I say very low, I mean very low. You have to remember that Tanzania is, there's a lot of poor people here and people need money any way they can get it. And um, so something as simple as braids that doesn't require you to have a uh, you know a license to do you can do that as a side job any I mean people do that generally anyway but you'll find that when you go to foreign countries that what you would pay back home is not even comparable to what you would pay here like you really can't even compare in, in terms of how low the prices are so just to get things like braids done it's gonna cost from this lady her prices are 20,000 which is, again, I'll put that in the video, <laughs> very low, extremely low. Um, 
so as of right now that's the only, those are the only things i have to share with you i don't know anything else so far oh yeah one more thing is um put yourself on a weekly budget or a monthly whatever you prefer when i first got here i was going to the atm like every two three days and i'm getting charged for my transactions and even though i'm pretty lucky that my bank which is a credit union doesn't charge me a whole lot i think it's like 43 cents per transaction but it adds up you know and i started realizing you know how much i started noticing how much i need on a weekly basis and so i put myself on a budget and this that's what i use for the week you know if it runs out then oh well that means i'm not going out or i'm not buying street food but i'm eating an avocado and some tomato or something <laughs> You just have to stick by it and you know you can have a lot of fun um, there's so many things you can do for very cheap like last night I went out with um, some friends and we went for some drinks and it was pretty good it wasn't anything fancy it was just a pub didn't cost a whole lot oh one more thing <laughs> I keep remembering things when you get to a certain place and you find a trustworthy cab driver um, get their number they have numbers, you know, uh, they have multiple. <laughs> Get their number and stay in contact with them. Make them the person that you, you know, rely on them because different cab drivers will charge you different prices. And, you know, you want to kind of establish a relationship with one that you know is honest with you. And I have one who is pretty, like, he is so awesome. He, he's so nice that he doesn't even tell me how much the ride is. He makes me, he just says, whatever you can give me. So I sometimes I have to say, you know, I really don't know if I'm going to give you enough. So you have to tell me some kind of price. But, you know, these are the kind of people that you want to keep around. You keep their number and you call them because they're not going to charge you an arm and a leg for a ride that shouldn't cost that much. You know, Especially if you don't know and you're unaware of, you know, how much the price is to go certain places. And seriously, that was like the last one. I can't think of anything else. Um, talk to you later.